Welcome back. There's obviously lots of hope for the new COVID vaccines, but one of the biggest challenges now that we have them developed is to get them distributed across the country effectively. And talking to us tonight is Perry Fry, who's the executive vice president of the Health Distribution Alliance, one of the organizations responsible for getting the vaccine where it needs to go and fast. Perry, thanks a lot for your time tonight. Tell us, what is this Healthcare Distribution Alliance? Uh, the Healthcare Distribution Alliance is a trade organization that represents primary pharmaceuticals, uh, pharmaceutical wholesalers in the healthcare supply chain. Our 35 members are the logistics experts that help connect close to 2,000 manufacturers with over 180,000 uh, providers and pharmacies across the country. Now, it sounds like this is a heavy lift, and it's probably not the case that all of these pieces just fell into alignment recently. It seems like there's been a, a lot of pre-planning going on. Well, uh, you're exactly right. So one of the things uh, that's really important is this system's been in place for a long time. Um, you know, our wholesalers handle close to 95% of all medicines that flow through the supply chain. So manufacturers typically ship to distributors. Those distributors have relationships with ind uh, individual pharmacies and uh, providers and health systems. And we're the ones that are making sure that those medicines get into those pharmacies on a, on a daily basis. Um, so that experience exists. We ship uh, close to 11 million units of product every single day. Then you look at, uh, hey, we've had experience in responding to major disasters like hurricanes, uh, wildfires, floods, tornadoes. Uh, there's a role that we play in, in disaster response and, and providing resiliency to a supply chain that gets impacted by something like that. We were major players in responding to H1N1, for instance. So we're leveraging all that experience um, to make sure that we have everything ready to go for this vaccine distribution. What's been important is the linkage with uh, various uh, parts of the federal government and with the individual states to understand where those states want products delivered when vaccines become available. At this point, folks know there's more than one vaccine. Pfizer's vaccine specifically requires the holding temperature to be minus 80 Celsius or so, that has to put some kind of, of strain or at least set of requirements on distribution networks. Uh, can you tell us how that all works with that type of Pfizer vaccine and the needs of that refrigeration? Yeah, I mean, you know, important to note, I think, you know, Pfizer has, a, their product has a very unique um, uh, temperature profile and they've set up their own distribution channel for that product, at least initially. Um, Vaccines that come available after the Pfizer vaccine will actually work their way through distribution. One of the things that we do on a regular basis is ship vaccines uh, and biologic products that require cold chain handling. So our members and the bulk of the supply chain are already used to handling products like this. And Perry, I'm sure something that occurs to folks watching is, well, what happens if something goes wrong? <laughs> what is the backup in the case of something unforeseen happening with the distribution? Um, you know, that's an interesting question. I, I, I heard someone say it earlier, you know, it's one of those failure is not an option type of things. And I, I think this industry is prepared. Everyone in the supply chain has a really unique and special role in making sure that everything goes right. The manufacturers uh, were tasked with somehow coming up with a vaccine in an exceedingly short period of time. Um, they have to manufacture that product. The FDA has to be responsible for approving the use of that product then it actually gets into the supply chain so where it can uh, reach patients at different provider sites. It's up to the state to decide where those provider sites are, are going to be. Um, I think early on, you know, with less volume, um, you know, you're probably not going to see a, a, a lot of problems. But as we move into uh, more volume, I think we're going to have more availability of product and it gives more option, more opportunity for, for even more success as we move forward. Healthcare Distribution Alliance and information about our members and what we do can all be found at our website, which is www.hda.org. All right, Perry Fry from the Healthcare Distribution Alliance, sir, thank you for your tremendous efforts in getting this vaccine out to Americans who need it. My pleasure. Take care. And we'll be back after this.